Hi. Uh, so today, some meat. I think uh, the last two videos are vegetable dishes. So today we make some meat dishes. Um, this one's classic. It's called fen zheng rou. And uh, <laughs> is literally steamed meat. Um, it's very classic and it's pretty easy to make. I guess the most important ingredients, if you can find this in your local Chinese market. So this character means steam, this means meat, this means powder. Okay. So make sure you can find this. What this is, uh, you can make this, but it's trouble. It's, I think it's half normal rice, half sticky rice, and you toast them, and then you put some spices on it. It's kind of a mixture. Um, it's a pain to make yourself though, so if you can buy this, it's the best, okay? After you have that, you need some uh, pork. Um, doesn't matter what kind of pork, you want to make sure it has some fat on here, see? These are some sod of uh, ribs. Uh, it's kind of low quality rib, it's... I bought these for two dollars, I think, all of these. And uh, you want some uh, yam, we only probably need half of this. Um, and uh, some cooking wine, I have some white wine. So don't use red wine. Um, Chinese cooking wine or, or white wine is fine. And uh, soy sauce. And some standard spices, ginger, garlic, whatnot. Okay, so let's start by marinating the meat for a while. So what we do, we'll chop the rib into little cubes. So you want to chop your meat into cubes, okay, for this dish, and uh, let's make this one a bit smaller. So the smaller you chop them, the, the faster they cook. Let's see, yeah, put them in the bowl. Okay, oh, just try to hurry up here. Some of the viewers do complain that the video sometimes is too long. That's because I'm not good at this yet, so. I'm getting better. So rib is very nice because it has a piece of bone in it and uh, when you cook bone they turn very delicious. But just a piece of uh, pork belly will work just as well. And we'll cut some ginger. Can you see? And some garlic. So I say again to peel garlic, chop off the two ends and smash it. And they come apart way easier. If you just smash it in the beginning, it actually doesn't peel quite as nice. So from experience, you want to cut off the front and the back. And then Give it a tap. Should open. See? Or you could buy minced garlic if you're the lazy kind. It's no big deal. It's just find the fresh one. Easier to work with. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. and do onion. This one's a little bit beaten up. Let's use the only the white part. I think the green part we can save for some other projects. Mm. Oh, I should have chopped them more. Ah. <laughs> Bad planning guys. Okay, so see, it's ginger, garlic, green onion. I don't think you need garlic nor green onion, just ginger alone is fine. And what we want, putting some wine. And soy 
RSS. So neither the wine is not salty and the soy sauce it's a quite a weak soy sauce so I'm just going to add some sugar to make sure it uh, I mean salt to make sure it's salty enough and a little bit of sugar to temperament it to make sure it's mild and then just rub so don't be afraid of getting your hand dirty just get it in there so I guess my policy is uh, my right hand is for the knife and such so I keep this one free of grease so keep this one clean and I use my left hand to physically touch the meat and the thing so that the left hand can be greasy I think it's a good policy and yeah that's it so we'll just let this sit and uh, wait and uh, sink for about 20 minutes or so doesn't need to be too long and we'll check back in 20 minutes all right we're back let's see so they've been marinating for a while i think they're good and uh so i think i'll show you how to steam things um it's very important so all you need to steam things is a large pot with a cover so what you do is you want to fill this water So, and then you want to put the food you have in the plate and then somehow prop it up with something. So I have a uh, kind of a rack thing you can put this on, but if you don't have it, you can always use something creative. You can use, for instance, a, a bowl and just put it down like this. It will create a uh, see see this would have worked if I just put it down. So just be creative. Think of some way of propping it up. And uh, yeah, that's it. We're going to just put the water boiling now with a rack, and we'll do the rest of the dish. So the idea is we want to put the rest of the ingredients in this plate, and then we put it on top of the steamer. Okay, and. Um, for this, this dish is really nice with some uh, sweet potato or yam on the bottom. We're going to use, I think, half of it. Um, so just peel, peel the yam with a vegetable peeler. I know it's off camera, but. Rest assured, this is not some uh, trickery. Uh, it's actually quite normal. Okay. See? And uh, we'll cut it about here. Alright, and the uh, idea is we want to chop this roughly the same size as the chunk of meat we have. So we'll maybe do one split this way. It's actually quite hard, this yam, when it's raw. Ugh. So just be careful, don't cut your hand. Just put them on the bottom. So the idea of this yam is the the meat juice will come from above, right, and come down onto the yam, and they will be extra delicious. Okay. 
like so. Oh, that was off camera. I'm so sorry here. <laughs> okay. Uh, what we do with the meat is we'll uh, kind of throw away the pieces of ginger. Because they, they have a lot of surface area to uh, absorb our powder that we're going to add. Uh, I don't want to waste my powder on the ginger piece. Probably all of them. I cut them fairly big. Here's one piece. Okay. All right. So we drain drain this of the fluid. A lot of fluid will come out part from the uh, marinade and part from the meat because the marinade is salty. It will dehydrate the meat. So make sure they're nice and damp, and uh, we're ready to add in these. So remember these three characters to the best of your ability. The first one is steam. If you translate steam, it will be this. Second one is meat. If you translate meat on Google Translate, it will be this. The third one is powder. If you Google Translate powder, it will be this. So find this somehow in your Chinese supermarket so you don't have to make this, which will be a pain. So we open this. So what it is on the inside is essentially toasted rice and uh, crushed half rice half sticky rice along with some spice uh, in particular it should be the five wuxiangfen so it's a five powder spice or whatever they translate to so okay. just put all of them inside and uh, give them a good rub again So I found this entire pack is good for just about one bowl of meat. It really perfectly covers everything and uh, nothing is, you know, extra proportion to each other. It's really good. Oh, I guess if you want the exact quantity, I think it's, uh, we can look at it. It says um, 50 grams on the bottom left corner. So. I guess 50 gram is what you can go for. Okay, and after you rub this in, you just lay the meat on top. Make sure there's, I guess you could do multiple layers of meat, but I guess one layer of meat will be fastest to cook. Okay, and then there are these some extra spices, just put them on top as well. Okay, All right, let me give you the separate view. this part so it's not yet boiling but it's okay we'll just put this inside give it some room on the side for the steam to come up okay that's it and we cover it and we'll probably wait Whew, it's hard to say you really want to somewhat overcook this so I would say 40 minutes to an hour just wait, go play video game or study, whatever. Okay, we'll check back. See you. We're done. All right, so it's been there for an hour, or close to an hour. And, ta-da. All right, so let's try to extract it. That's always the most dangerous part I guess. And uh how do we do this? I'll use a fork I guess. Um come here. 
Oh, I want to show you. Oh well. This part is risky. Let's work. I'll grab this two fork on the end. And pull up. Oh, disaster. Hmm. Tastes really good. Yeah, so this is some problem with homemade steaming devices. Okay. Alright, got it. Alright, look. Oh man, look how good it is. Oh, so happy, look. So there's the meat on top with the yam on the bottom. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, pretty easy dish. Most of it was just waiting for it to cook. And uh, make sure you do find the powder that um, I will post how to write it in Chinese character in the video description. Um, yeah, until next time, subscribe my channel if you have not already. Uh, food.log, I upload once every week. Uh, simple stuff that you can cook at home. Okay, see you.